Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you, and in this one we're going to talk about the inconvenient truth about Sweden. Now, anytime I say anything negative about Sweden, there's going to be blowback, there's going to be people slamming the dislike button, but just hear me out. I'm not talking about something that I really think is like negative about Sweden, it's just the way Sweden is, and I think most people would agree with me, and I'm explaining this from an immigrant's perspective. So I just want to say that in my experience in Sweden, when it comes to getting a job, when it comes to finding an apartment or just getting an awesome opportunity in general, it all comes down to who you know. And if you don't know anybody and you're new here, you're gonna struggle in that sense. And that's always been my experience that I've seen and that's always what I've seen from other Swedes that when other Swedes get opportunity, it comes from their connections and who they know. I didn't get the apartment that I live in now just out of luck, no. I knew someone that was moving out that had an in with the person that lived here, which really helped me get an apartment. Uh, with finding jobs, having connections with other uh, teachers that I worked at different schools that could put in a good word for me, really helped me move forward. Uh, and also having a relationship with the people I worked with when I was a teacher. And even what I do now, I feel like a lot of had to happen from YouTube. The fact that I was like known on YouTube helped me in my current work. Now, I think the reason it's this way in Swedish society is just because Swedes are like friends with the same people from like grade school up until like gymnasium a lot of times. And uh, Swedes are, it takes a long time to make friends. So basically it took me six months to make friends when I first moved to Sweden. And people would come up and talk to me in the bar and they were super excited, but they were kind of interested in the character of myself as an American and not so much about who I was. I think I was more seen as like entertaining and it, it took a while to make like actual cool relationships with f f Swedish people. And when I first did, it was just, I was hanging out with people watching TV, joking and stuff. And nobody was asking me why I moved to Sweden, why Sweden. It was just like, we were just having a conversation and chilling. And it was like the greatest feeling in the world. Uh, I also think Swedes like to stick around with what they're comfortable with. And, you know, Swedes are comfortable speaking Swedish and being with other Swedish people that understand the culture. My girlfriend thinks that that's 100% language, that if I spoke complete, perfect, fluent Swedish, that I would not notice any differences. But I still feel like with perfect Swedish, which is my goal, which I want to have, uh, I would still struggle a little bit. I would still not be a Swede. I would still be just a little bit outside of the group. It's always a feeling that I've felt here in Sweden that like, I get close, but I'm not in the group. I am not in the Swedish group. And it can be difficult because like, I live in the, I don't feel like I belong in America necessarily because I've been here so different, but I'm reminded every once in a while that I don't belong in Sweden 110%. And it comes down to some of these connections and opportunities that you can have in Sweden. I'm a white American dude that speaks perfect English. And I still notice these issues. You know, if I came from, say, the Middle East and uh, had a different sounding name than most typical Swedes, and I was applying for jobs or opportunities, how often would I get a phone call? I'm not saying that it would be done on perfect. I mean, I'm not saying it would be done on purpose. I just want to point out to you that immigrants that come that are hardworking might have a hard time finding an opportunity. Keep in mind, it's hard for Swedes in general to find a job right now. So with such a hard job force, with, with such a difficult time finding an apartment, I think it's difficult for immigrants as well. So my advice to you to tell you this is to not make an excuse. I'm not saying that like, you're not gonna be successful in Sweden, so just give up. But really focus on making connections with people, having those connections and not burning those bridges with anybody and keeping those good relationships because you never know what you're gonna get from it. For me, I got an apartment through friends. For me, I got connections through work from the people I knew and then also the my YouTube channel, just being known in general. Those are the ways uh, to move forward here in Swedish society. So I agree 100% learn the language. I'm working on that as well. But do everything you can to be as outgoing as you can, to network with as many people as you can. And when you make a Swedish friend, they're your friend for life and you have to stick with them. And just recognize the situation you're in. It's gonna be more difficult. You are gonna to have to know some people. But I think if you push hard enough and uh, you keep trying and all the opportunities that you have that I have no doubt you can find success in Sweden. That's what my goal is. That's what I'm trying to do currently. I feel like I'm almost there into Swedish society. Not there yet again, but maybe hopefully someday I'll feel that. So I'm curious if you're an immigrant to Sweden, how do you feel? Do you agree or disagree? And again, no hate to Sweden. I'm just explaining the situation. I'm not saying that you wouldn't have a difficult time 
coming to America in the same situation. I can't speak on that since I'm American, so I'm speaking on my situation here in Sweden, okay? Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hello.